I now let's have a think. Was it? Oh, that's right. I was writing this morning and a couple of days ago that I had a um, challenge. Part of this Momentum Day challenge was uh, hula hooping. <clears throat> okay, gravity kind of won for so long. Now, I'll just go back a bit. Um, when I was born, I had dislocating feet, uh, hips and talipes, so I was kind of a mess and plaster casts and everything for a few years. And then I had, this is in the 1960s, and I had calipers around my waist and hips and everything. It's something. I remember them, but I don't remember how long. Then about six years old to seven years old, two weeks in between, um, I had two operations on my tendons and they snipped the tendons and of course I was in physio. Somewhere between then and around then, my father taught me how to skate, my mother took me to ballet and I had physio. So I, when I walk, I walk straight, which is actually abnormal because my toes point forward and I never knew why. Anyway, hula hooping. What has this got to do with that? Well, all right, you learn your posture very early, right? The dog under the house barking. Now you learn your posture very early and of course my back was kind of like that. And when I dived into the water swimming, I would go sink. And there was a school champion swimming thing coming up and my teacher didn't want me to swim. Actually, when my mum reminded me about it, I did actually have that flashback. I thought, wow, what did she tell me? She said, of course, Susie, I told you and showed you how to pull your stomach muscles up and in. And of course, you get a fat tummy and you pull that in long enough and of course your back becomes a little bit straighter. So that's fine. What has that got to hula hoop? Well, uh, the opposite of my back is my waistline currently, but I've still got hips. <laughs> and that's like now hula hooping is different from swimming you don't pull your step or your back up because it takes your tailbone down but your hips now you're busy doing your um, ladies you're busy doing what you call it pelvic floor exercises it's exercises we used to call them in nurses nursing and you're busy exercising, losing weight and all this other stuff. Well, guess what? Keep going. Because when I do videos, when I'm transcribing or CCing, or writing down lists from videos and things like that, what I do is I stand up now and do the exercises, right? I turn the camera off too. <laughs> but what I've just gone and done, yes, because hula hooping brevity sucks. It keeps pulling the hula hoop down. And you've got to get it around several times. Now, last year, I gave myself the same challenge. And I couldn't seem to keep it up. Every time I did it, it went down. Gravity one. Try picking that up for an hour a day. It's exercising the wrong muscles. So I let it go. And I just worked out that gravity is the same as writing a blog and not pushing it out there, right? So you're writing a blog, let's go back to marketing, you're writing a blog, you've got to push it out there, you've got to do something with it, oh it's going to sit there and freeze. With your hula hoop, you've got to get in the right position and wiggle that backside round and round and round, but more than just the backside muscles going in out and everything, you've got to actually involve from the top of your toes to the top of your hair. Now I've got long hair, I'm wearing it up because the hula hoop went <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, put here up. But it was still going around. So, yes, I've done up to six whole circles of a hula hoop. And yes, I'm excited. I've gone from two to four to six and back and again. Yes, hula hooping. And I'm not doing it in front of the camera. There's not enough room here. <laughs> so, I go outside and do it under the shadow of the trees. So yes, I've got it. Well, I've got six of them going around and then picking the hula hoop up and doing it again. Again, just like what you're doing online. Video it. Well, not me hula hooping, but video what you're doing. Use your loom. 
I'll leave a link somewhere. And when you when you get something going on screen with your with your blogging, video that so you can tell someone how to do it or remind yourself. So it's like analyzing what you're doing, me analyzing well, how did I do this, realizing and putting it into practice. Hi guys. <laughs> I kind of feel like a five year old. But anyway, look, don't worry. I'm just so excited. Yeah, funny little things, isn't it? <laughs> Come and join me hula hooping at um, down under. Why did I just say that? Okay, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> All right, catch you later. Doop, doop, doop.